everyone and welcome to a non Taylor Swift themed video. Yes, I make them. Yes, I like them. Yes, there are so many new people here and I'm so glad that you're here. But today I am actually going to be doing a current favorites video. I have not done one of these in a while, but I also haven't posted in a while. Long story short, I've been very busy, but I have a ton of things to talk with you guys about today. I have this gigantic thing to talk to you about. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into it. If you like these kind of videos, be sure to give the video, whoa, look at that hair, y'all, bad hair day. If you like beauty videos and stuff like that, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for anything and everything under the sun. I'm so glad you guys are here. Welcome to the family and let's get started. So I'm going to start with the beauty products, which I have quite a few of because I have been on a makeup kick recently and just loving trying out new things and, you know, Know, just like experimenting a little bit more because I haven't been doing that okay so the first thing that I'm going to talk about I have this basket in my lap so sorry if it makes noise the first thing I want to talk to you guys about and it's one of my mega favorites as of the past couple of months um, really the past couple weeks especially is a nail polish brand called KL polish if you guys know Kathleen lights this is her nail polish brand I know there is recent controversy with her um, that came out like the night before I filmed this video which is really a bummer um, and I just feel like I am not in a place to, because I am a white person, I'm not in a place to really say whether or not her apology I guess was, was sincere. I want to believe the best in people and it's a really big bummer that that happened and um, I'm sorry to those of you who were offended by that. If you wanna know more, just Google it. I don't really wanna get into it in this video but because I wanna keep things genuine here, I am going to talk about the product that I love and not necessarily her and that situation. Um, I don't believe that that should ever be a word that's used, but you can kind of make your own judgment. Um, I really love this product, so I'm going to be talking about the product and not the person. So with that said, um, I have been absolutely obsessed with this nail polish line, particularly these two colors, um, which are Magic City and Porter Miami. These are among the best nail polishes I've ever used. Um, the formula is really um, opaque. It's not thick, but it feels a little bit like gel, and these do not chip. Like, they will not chip for at least a week and a half, and I am rough on my hands, and these are absolutely amazing. The colors are so vibrant, so beautiful. This reminds me a lot of Butler Please by Essie, um, which it's not as bright, but still wonderful. And that one chips like crazy. So I'm going to stick with this one. And I love this bright red color. I'm not usually a red nail polish color, but I feel like this one is just cherry enough to not be like obnoxious red. And I love it so much. And then the other colors I have are Mia or MIA. Um, and then I also have Ocean Drive. I will say Ocean Drive chips pretty bad on me, but everything else lasts like crazy. This one is a beautiful bright pink with like kind of a pearl um, like sheen to it. Very beautiful. And then from a different brand, but still related to that, I have been using the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel Top Coat. This is supposed to be used with their Miracle Gel polishes, but I find that this is a really great top coat to use with any nail polish, and I've really been liking that as well. Um, going into true to life makeup, the first thing I have um, are a few face products. So the first one I have is the NARS Pore and Shine Control Primer. Um, I got this when I ran out of my old primer and I really just wanted something to help control shine. Um, I don't really care so much about pore, but shine in general is a big problem for me. And this is really great. Um, it's about $36, which is a little steep, but like not out of the realm of like Sephora primers in general, but I've really been liking this. It is scent free, which is awesome, but it's also really great and it does, I think, help control shine. It is not the most intense one I've ever used, but it is a good one and it's gentle on my skin. Um, the next things I have are two foundations, which are pretty similar. Um, this one's a little bit thicker than this one, but this is the Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation from Tarte. I've used this for a couple years now, um, on and off, and I recently fell back in love with it. It's got great coverage, but it still feels lightweight and like you're not really wearing makeup, which I appreciate. Um, but this one's a little bit more expensive, but it is in a gorgeous bottle. But I do really like this, and it's a little bit thicker. Whereas this one, which is from NYX, this is the Total Control Drop Foundation, is um, considerably smaller, but also this one's like $13, and this one's like 30 something, maybe 40. Um, but this is a great foundation. However, this is extremely high coverage in a sense that if you use too much of this, you're going to turn orange. 
it doesn't matter what you do, you're gonna be orange as shit if you don't use this properly, which I know because I didn't use it properly. Um, I was using a full dropper full like you do with this foundation. Not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to do a couple of drops depending on what kind of coverage you want. It says on the box. That's why it's total control. So it can be light, medium, or heavy coverage. Um, but it is a great foundation. It feels really great on the skin. Um, I will say I went through it pretty quickly though. This one's almost empty, um, but beware that this does oxidize just a little bit. So go a shade lighter than you think you need. Um, but overall, great foundation and I really enjoyed it and it's a pretty affordable option, so that's awesome. Um, other face products that I have been enjoying are two powders. So starting off with the Loose Setting um, Powder. This is actually a little mini baby one of the Blended Face Powder and Invisible Blend from Clinique. I got this in like a gift with purchase kind of situation and I've actually really been loving this for setting my under eyes. Um, I just put like a beauty blender in here while it's still damp and then just kind of like pat under the eyes um, for setting under eye concealer for setting my nose anywhere that I need like a little bit of baking I don't bake because I don't put a ton on but I do add extra oil control with this and it also just makes it look smooth and beautiful and I've really been liking this a lot so I may end up going and getting the full size but I kind of want to try out a couple of different ones before I decide but loose setting powder I'm here, I'm on that train now. The next one is a cult classic, a, a true favorite of the beauty community, and that is the Becca Champagne Pop. Um, I decided to treat myself to this when um, the um, Ulta 20% off sale happened, and um, I enjoy it, I really like it. I will say that like it is not as like blindingly highlighty as I thought everyone else made it out to be. But I kind of like that because I don't like a strong highlight, so this has been really good for me. It's beautiful. It is, of course, a champagne gold color. Really beautiful. I'm wearing it today. I don't know if you can tell. My skin's looking a little rough because it's so hot outside. But I've really been liking that. I feel like I'm talking so fast. The next thing is a Clart, uh, a Clart? A Tarte Amazonian Clay um, mini little blush. I got this actually in a little birthday set from Sephora. But this is the color. It is so pretty. I've really been liking it. It's kind of a um, like true pinky color, um, but I really like it. It's very pretty and I like the size of it. It's easy to travel with and I don't wear a lot of blush, so I don't know what else to say. It's very pretty. Try it out. The Big Daddy. The thing that I have loved the most over the past couple of months, come as no surprise to anyone, the Naked Heat Palette. This is my favorite palette of all time. I'm saying it right now. It is my favorite palette of all time. It is so Gerstern beautiful. Look at these colors. It's what I have on my eyes today. I've done a tutorial with this. I freaking love it. I love it. I have like, I wore cool toned eyeshadows the other day and I felt naked. I was like, what is this? What am I doing? This is my favorite palette of all time. It is so freaking gorgeous. The sh shades are amazing. The powders are amazing. Look how pretty it is. It's so beautiful. I love it. I need to calm down. That new Taylor song has got me hype. Um, okay. And then some other random favorites. I'm gonna go kind of rapid fire. I think I've talked about this before, but the Luminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. It's so similar to the Better Than Sex by Too Faced, so check it out. Um, next one, this is from the Naked Heat collection as well. I picked this up in the 20% off sale at Ulta. And this is the Alkaline 24-7 liner. So gorgeous. Oh my God, I can't stand it. It is like this ready burgundy purple color. So gorgeous, love this in the waterline, makes my eyes really green. I don't have it on today, but I do really love that and like smudged under my eye. Quite beautiful. The, I think I've mentioned these before in a favorites video, but these are the Bare Minerals Matte um, Liquid Lipsticks. So comfortable, so good. This is in the color Boss with two dollar signs. Love this, love this color so much. I had this on in my um, Look What You Made Me Do reaction video. These brushes from BH Cosmetics, these three in particular I love. This first one I love, just a little pencil brush, so you can see it, um, that I use to go underneath my la like lash line on the bottom with shadow, which I never used to do. I watched a Patrick Star video where he said you should always do that, so I tried it, and of course, he was right. So this has been great for that because it's a little bit thicker so it actually smudges the shadow and doesn't leave it super stark. Um, and then I have a spoolie brush for your eyebrows or for mascara or whatever. Um, if you like have clumpy mascara or you just wanna brush out your brows, this is great. And then a paddle brush from BH Cosmetics in number one. This is a little bit dirty, but I've been using this for bronzer um, when I just want a light bronze. 
And these BH Cosmetics brushes are so affordable. Like these are, like the set is just super affordable. So check out BH Cosmetics. The brushes are actually pretty great. Um, and then I have one from Real Techniques and this is the contour brush. I actually use this for highlight. It's like the perfect highlight brush um, to use and I like it. And again, affordable. Okay, so I have a couple of skincare items that I want to share with you guys as well. So if you guys didn't know, um, I've been having a lot of skin troubles over the past like nine-ish months, um, trying to get my skin under control and it's been a really difficult process. But I think I have found some stuff that really works well for me and I wanted to share it with you guys. So it is all from Mario Badascu. Um, I respond really well to his spot treatments, and so I thought that I should try out some more stuff, and it has been so good, so good, so good. So obviously not sponsored, I'm not big enough to have sponsors yet, but I would for sure stand this company. So um, the first thing I have is the Aloe Moisturizer. This is Broad Spectrum SPF 15 Sunscreen. It is this cute little like light pastel green um, and I love this stuff. It does have aloe in it which my skin responds really well to so you'll see that that's a theme in this. Um, but this little bottle is a little bit expensive but it works so well for me. I use it day and night um, that I that I just like am not gonna give it up. It has been a process to get my skin back to normal and this has really helped. The next thing is a toner. This is the aloe water toner. Um, I do go through this like fairly quickly because it is a toner, it's liquid, um, but I also love this stuff. It's really great for getting all of the like traces of dirt and oil and stuff off your face, but it also um, helps calm and condition the complexion, which is very much me is I have very much um, irritated skin. Like it gets really inflamed and red and, and annoyed because I'm allergic to a lot of things. So this is great for calming the skin and I have really loved it. And speaking of calming and soothing things, we have the Healing and Soothing Mask from Mario Badescu. Um, this stuff is amazing. Um, I really love this. Oopsies, um, this is what it looks like. It's kind of like yellowish in the pot, but really it comes out kind of green um, on your face. But this is great for days where my skin might be a little bit irritated. Maybe I've been really bad and I've been picking or something, which is not good, don't do it, but I do it all the time. Um, this is great to put on at night, let it soak in. I almost always watch this while watching The Bold Type is my favorite show. I'm throwing that in right now. I can't believe I almost forgot to tell you guys about it. The Bold Type is the best show on television right now. If it doesn't get renewed, I'm going to riot. So go watch it on Hulu, on Freeform, wherever you can find it. It is amazing, 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 amazing. Every time you think it's gonna go towards a stereotype, it just takes a left turn or a right turn and just does what you don't think it's gonna do. It's amazing. It's incredible. And if they don't renew it, I'm gonna lose my shit because it's such an important show and I love it so much. So don't let it be, it being on Freeform, like deter you from watching it because it is progressive, it is amazing, it's beautiful, amazing characters. Ah, it's so good. But I usually put this on, leave it on for 15 minutes. I usually wake up the next morning and my skin feels a lot calmer and um, it just feels a lot better. The Saint Tropez Self Tan Luxe Dry Lotion, or Dry Oil. Um, this stuff is great. This stuff is expensive. I did get it on sale. I got it for 40% off, which is bomb. Um, but this is a fragrance-free tanning oil um, that's like a self-tanner oil, so not one that you wear like out in the sun to get tan. This is a fake tan. And this is a beautiful color. It doesn't feel gross and smelly and like bleh, all over you. It is oily, so you are gonna feel oily and a little bit gross, but it feels very luxurious. It feels very nice on the skin. And I've used it once and you use quite a bit when you do it, but this is great because this I believe is like 40 bucks. And for me, a spray tan is 20 each. So you can get like probably three spray tans out of this for $40, so you're saving $20. I don't know, I really enjoy it and I highly recommend it. See if you can get it on sale anywhere because like Ulta has a lot of sales. I got this on sale at Planet Beauty. Um, Planet Beauty will match prices as well, so just so you know, if something's off, they'll match it. Um, great product, really like it. And the next thing, which is a body product, which I am currently obsessed with and I'm so glad that I found, is the Neutrogena Body Oil Light Sesame Formula in Fragrance Free. I have really, really dry skin on my body, not so much my face, but my body is really dry because I can't really use a lot of lotions. But this stuff is amazing. It feels so good. It dries really quickly so you don't feel gross and slimy. 
um, and it's just super uber moisturizing. Great for after your leg, after you shave your legs. Um, great to put on your arms and like your chest or your legs when you're going out and you want your legs and your arms to look really pretty um, and like very healthy. I really, really love this. And my dog loves this because he loves to lick it off of my legs. Um, this is the LNET Unscented um, Hairspray. Again, if you're new here, there's a lot of new people. I say this all the time. You'll probably get annoyed by me saying it. I'm allergic to fragrance. So anytime I find a great fragrance-free product, I'm gonna share it with you guys because I know some of you that watch me have the same issue. Um, but this is the Unscented um, Hairspray, which is an actual hairspray and not a pump spray, which I hate. So this stuff's great. A little bit expensive for the drugstore, but you do get a lot of product and I think it's worth it. And then my ultimate, one of my ultimate favorites of the past couple of months, um, these are nothing new, but they're new to me. I met a wonderful makeup artist when um, I worked at Comic-Con and she um, had a bunch of basically like free products that she could get sent because she's a celebrity makeup artist. And she gave me a wet brush um, she gave me multiple wet brushes, but this one is my favorite. This is the paddle brush. If you've never used a wet brush before and you have really tangly hair, you've got to try this. Forget the tangle teaser, forget any other brush but the wet brush. You've got to give it a try. They're not very expensive and like these bristles, if you can see, are super, super bendy, um, which is great because they don't like tear your hair out and I can like brush through my curls and they feel really soft and it doesn't make them like not fluff anymore. I'm obsessed with this and I have a smaller one um, that I can take traveling and stuff like that. This is some real shiz. This stuff is so good. You definitely need to try it. This is the blow drying one so it has the holes in it so you can blow dry with it. Phenomenal, I love it. Okay, and then the last couple things I have to share with you are actually fashion favorites. So I'm very excited to announce that I am obsessed with Millennial Pink. Here's a Millennial Pink shirt. This one's a little more peachy, but still Millennial Pink. And another Millennial Pink shirt. I am absolutely loving this Millennial Pink as my little cup, which this is from Bandeau. I got this in their sale for $7 but love potion and then it says crush inducing formula and it has a heart straw obsessed with this as well also in the same color as is my new backpack i wanted to show you these shirts in particular the first one is from urban outfitters and this one is a millennial pink they're all very wrinkly because i've worn them all recently so apologies but this one is a um like really light um, airy shirt. I ended up getting this in a size too big because they were out of my size but it says fight like a girl and it's got this kind of like torn up neckline and it's just this like oversized really soft shirt but it says fight like a girl which if you watch my videos for a while was always what was on that sign before. It's one of my favorite things but I love this color so much. Um, the next one I have is another ultimate favorite and this is from Daisy Native and this is a shirt that says girls support girls because we do and we should and I love the pink and red together it's very Valentine's Day but um, I'm kind of obsessed with that and I love it it's so soft it does run pretty big I got um, a size thinking I wanted it to be oversized but I really should have gone with my normal size um, so this is adorable oh so you should definitely go check this out I'll try to leave a link down below and the next one is very special to me and it is by one of my very best friends in the entire world just launched her own fashion line and I am freaking obsessed. So this is the shirt, it's a little bit more peachy um, and this one says okay there with her little logo which is that um, lips and then on the back it has a phrase that she always says and her mom always says and it just makes me miss her so much but it says okay lady I love you bye bye and this is her um, collection her name is Megan Phillips she is Megan Phillips collection on Instagram I will link it below and her website but she just launched her first line of like actual physical clothes she's been designing for as long as I've known her this is her ultimate dream and now she has a line of a couple different graphic t-shirts that are really awesome but she also has dresses and blouses and and, it's, and skirts and stuff and it's just amazing and I'm so proud of her so Megan if you're watching this god I love you so much and I'm so happy for you and the next thing I wanted to share with you are Zella leggings um Zella leggings are a little bit expensive they're not Lululemon expensive but they're not like Forever 21 Target expensive. These are Zella leggings and I am freaking obsessed with this particular pair. So they're a little bit dirty, but these are like a moto legging that have a mesh insert at your thigh. Then it has the like, um, the ribbing like the moto and then the back of the, um, 
like calves are mesh, they're high waisted, they're so soft, so comfortable, and they like feel like a pajama legging, but they look really cool and fashionable and fun. And I actually got these in the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So I feel like I keep saying that, like I got everything on sale, which I did because sale shopping is the bomb. Um, but I also got the plain pair that are high waisted and they fit amazing. They're not too long on short girls, but they're also like, do have a little bit of extra fabric. So if you're taller than me, which I'm 5'2", you're going to be fine. But these are my new favorite leggings and they for girls who have legs that touch like I do, um, they don't wear in between the legs like at all. Like they look like, I, like they look brand spanking new and I've worn these a million times. So they don't like rub and pill up in the middle. They slide and glide. So you're not gonna get that wear and tear in between your legs. And then this is just a normal pair, which is just a normal pair of black leggings. Amazing, they don't roll, they don't do anything. They're high-waisted, they make you feel all sucked in and tucked in, and they are amazing. So, and then the last fashion favorite I have are a new pair of sunglasses. Me, oh my, I absolutely freaking love these. I actually saw these on um, Kelsey Ballerini, um, the country singer, and I saw them and I was like, I have to have those, like where are those from? And so I like zoomed in on her Instagram photo to try to see who the brand was, and these are by Key Australia. Um, I couldn't see it on the Instagram, but I was like, those look very Key Australia, so I'm gonna check. I found these at Nordstrom. Um, I absolutely love them because they're like hot pink, but they also go go into purple a little bit and then they also kind of down here at the bottom it's almost like a gold orange and oh my gosh I freaking love these I think they're so cool they're so summery but like I'm gonna keep wearing them into fall because they feel sassy and I like them so that is all of my physical favorites my last thing to mention of course of course is new Taylor Swift and Man, I freaking love her. Go watch The Bold Type, go listen to Taylor Swift, and I was gonna show you more music, but this video is already so long. So if you wanna follow me um, on Apple Music or whatever, you can um, go and listen to The Bold Type playlist, which is amazing. It's a public playlist I made. That's all the music from The Bold Type, so go listen to that. And I'm gonna shut this down. My God, this is the longest video, but I have missed talking to you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed what I've been loving lately. I feel like I've been talking so fast. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this, more beauty, fashion, lifestyle, Taylor Swift extravaganzas. So be sure to subscribe. Love you guys very much. My name is Parker. This is Stories in the Dust, and I really hope you'll stick around a while.